Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on 8th Green's problem in backtracking. So backtracking is one of the algorithm design technique. So 8th Green's problem or N Green's problem is one of the application of backtracking. So in backtracking, for a given problem, we have to find out all the solutions for a given problem. So all the solutions can be represented by using a state space tree. So in the state space tree, we have select only the solutions for the given problem from the root node to leaf node. So all the solutions are collectively called as state space tree. So now we are going to 8 Green's problem. So in 8 Green's problem, we have to place 8 Green's on 8 by 8 chessboard. Okay. In 8 by 8 chessboard, the rows can be numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The columns can be numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The rows can be numbered from 1 to 8. The columns can be numbered from 1 to 8. The queens, queens can be numbered from 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The queens can be numbered from 1 to 8. So these 8 queens can be placed on 8 by 8 chessboard such that no two queens are on the same row or on the same row no two queens are on the same column or on the same column. So no two queens are on the same diagonal. Okay. We have to place eight queens on eight by eight chessboard such that no two queens are on the same row, no two queens are on the same column, no two queens are on the same diagonal. So these are the constraints we have to follow in eight queens problem while you are placing eight queens on eight by eight chessboard. So here we have to follow two types of constraint. One is we have to follow two types of constraints. types of constraints. One is explicit constraints. And second one is implicit constraints.
so explicit constraints or the rules which restrict each xi to take on values from a given set so here the solution vector is the solution vector is so x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 okay so this solution vectors represents the column numbers okay suppose we can take x1 so x1 is nothing but we have to place to be one in which column x2 is nothing but we have to place queen 2 in which column x3 is nothing but we have to place queen 3 on which column x4 is nothing but we have to place queen 4 in which column in 8 by 8 chessboard x5 is nothing but we have to place queen 5 in which column in 8 by 8 chessboard x6 is nothing but Queen 6 can be placed on which column in 8 by 8 chessboard. X7 is nothing but so 7th queen can be placed on 8 by 8 chessboard. In which place we are placing. X8 is nothing but 8th queen can be placed on which column in 8 by 8 chessboard. So here the sol uh, the, sol the set S suffix i contains only the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is nothing but we have to place 8 queens on 8 columns in 8 by 8 chessboard. So, uh, yes suffix i contains the column numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, x suffix i can take the values either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8. So, suppose x suffix i 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to h. x suffix i can take the values between 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to h. Suppose we can take x4 that is fourth queen can be placed on which column okay x4 is nothing but fourth queen can be placed on which column among these eight columns okay so these constraints are called as explicit constraints explicit constraints so explicit constraints or the rules that restrict each xi to take on values from a given set. So, given set contains only 8 column numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Each xi to take on values from a given set from 1 to 8. So, these uh, constraints are called as implicit uh, sorry explicit constraints next what are the implicit constraints so implicit constraints are no two queens are on the same column no two queens are on the same diagonal so no two queens no two queens are on the same column, no two queens are on the same diagonal. We are not mentioning the rules. According, uh, according to the rule, so, queen 1 can be placed on first row, queen 2 can be placed on second row, queen 3 can be placed on third row, queen 4 can be placed on fourth row, 
queen 5 can be placed on 5th row queen 6 can be placed on 6th row queen 7 can be placed on 7th row queen 8 can be placed on 8th row so 8th queen can be placed on 8th column 8th column so because of that one we have not mentioned the no two queens on the same row so these are the explicit constraints and the implicit constraints we have to follow in uh, eight queens problem why we have to place eight queens on eight by eight chessboard next how many number of possible ways to place eight queens on 64 cells that is eight by eight chessboard so suppose any queen can be placed on any cell in among 64 cells okay any queen can be placed on any cell in 64 cells so how many number of possibilities are there so 64 possibilities are there for each and every queen okay next how many number of queens can be placed in 8 by 8 chessboard that is 8 queens can be placed on 8 by 8 chessboard so that is how many how many number of possibilities how many number of possibilities to place any queen to place any queen in 8 by 8 chessboard 8 by 8 chessboard so there are 64 possibilities are there okay so 64 possibilities we have to place 8 queens on 8 by 8 chessboard that is total number of possibilities to place 8 queens on 8 by 8 chessboard is 64 c8 so here we have not applied any explicit constraint under any implicit constraint without any constraint so any queen can be placed on 8 by 8 chessboard how many number of possibilities are there 64 possibilities are there we have to place 8 queens on 8 by 8 chessboard the total number of possibilities for 8 queens is equal to 64 c 8 okay after applying explicit constraints and implicit constraints so the number of possibilities can be reduced can be reduced to so 8 factorial possible ways 8 factorial possible ways the total number of possibilities for placing 8 queens in 8 by 8 chessboard is 64 c 8 before applying any these constraints so after imposing the explicit constraints and implicit constraints the total number of possibilities can be reduced from 64 c8 to 8 factorial base 8 factorial base okay the total number of possibilities after applying explicit constraints and implicit constraints is equal to 8 factorial next one solution is 4 6 8 2 7 1 3 5 so first queen can be placed on fourth column second queen can be placed on sixth column third queen can be placed on eighth column fourth queen can be placed on second column fifth queen can be placed on seventh column sixth queen can be placed on first column seventh queen can be placed on third column eighth queen can be placed on fifth column so after placing eight queens we have to check 
no two twins are on the same row so each and every row contains only a single twin first row contains only this twin second row contains only this twin third row contains only this twin fourth row contains only this twin fifth row contains only this twin sixth row contains only one twin seventh row contains only one twin eighth row contains only one twin so each and every column contains only one twin first column contains only one cube second column contains only one twin third column contains only one twin fourth column contains only one twin fifth column contains only one twin sixth column contains only one twin seventh column contains only one twin and eighth column contains only one twin so no two twins are on the same row no two twins are on the same column no two twins are on the same diagonal we have to check so this diagonal no twin is there this diagonal no twin is there this diagonal no two 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 no two twin is there this diagonal no two twin is there okay so after satisfying these three conditions no two twins are on the same row no two twins are on the same column no two twins are on the same diagonal the final solution vector is eight tuple the solution vector is eight tuple so the eight tuples are first twin can be placed on fourth column second twin can be placed on sixth column third twin can first twin can be placed on fourth column second twin can be placed on sixth column third twin can be placed on eighth column fourth twin can be placed on second column fifth twin can be placed on seventh column sixth twin can be placed on first column seventh twin can be placed on third column eighth uh, eighth twin can be placed on column okay so eight twins can be placed on eight by eight chessboard okay this is the final solution for the given eight twins problem while we are placing eight twins on eight by eight chessboard such that no two twins are on the same row no two twins are on the same column no two twins are on the same diagonal okay next suppose we can take any two coordinates i comma j and k comma l we have to check these two coordinates are diagonal coordinates or not okay so to checking these two coordinates that are whether they are diagonal coordinates or not by using this formula mod i minus k is equal to mod j minus l mod j minus l by satisfying this condition we can say that these two coordinates are diagonal coordinates in 8 by 8 chessboard suppose this condition is not satisfied then we can say that so these two coordinates are not diagonal coordinates suppose we can take two pairs that is uh, 2 comma 7 and 3 comma 8 check whether these two are diagonal elements or not so here i value is 2 k value is 3 j value is 7 l value is 8 I value is 2, K value is 3, J value is, uh, J value is 7, L value is 8. Okay, so that is mod minus 1 is equal to 
mod minus 1. So that is equal to mod 1 is equal to mod 1. Okay. So these two coordinates satisfies the condition. Then we can say that 2 comma 7 and 3 comma 8 are diagonal coordinates. So 2 comma 7, 3 comma 8, 2 comma 7 and 3 comma 8. These two coordinates are diagonal coordinates after satisfying this condition. Next, for this problem, all the solutions can be represented by using a state space tree. So, after drawing state space tree like as four twins problem, how many number of nodes in the state space tree? So, the formula is 1 plus sigma j is equal to 0 to 7 pi i is equal to 0 to j 8 minus i. So, this formula is used for finding out how many number of nodes in the state space tree while you are placing 8 twins on 8 by 8 chessboard. So, the total number of nodes is 69,821 nodes are there. So, it is very difficult to draw 8 state space tree for 8 twins problem because so it contains 69,821 nodes. So the number of nodes in state space tree per 8 twins program. So, this is the description about how to place 8 twins on 8 by 8 chessboard. The total number of possibilities before applying any constraint is 64 C8. After impose implicit constraints, so the total number of possibilities is 8 factorial. Next, the total number of nodes in the state space tree is 69,821 nodes. Next, the final solution for 8 means problem is represented by 8 tuples. So, that is 8 x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8. So, one queen can be placed on 4th column, second queen can be placed on 6th column, third queen can be placed on 8th column, fourth queen can be placed on 2nd column, 5th queen can be placed on 7th column, 6th queen can be placed on 1st column, 7th queen can be placed on 3rd column, 8th queen can be placed on so 5th column. So, here we are using two types of constraints. One is the explicit constraints and second one is implicit constraints. Explicit constraints are the rules that restrict each xi to take on values from a given set. So, given set S of x i contains only 8 column values that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, we have to place any queen that is x of x i can take values from the given set. Either x of x i can take either first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column, sixth column, seventh column, eighth column. So, x of x i vary from 1 to 8. Next, implicit constraints are nothing but no two queens are on the same column or no two queens are on the same diagonal. Okay. So, here n is equal to 8. So, because of reason, it can be called as 8 queens problem. Actually, it is n queens problem. Suppose we can take n is equal to 8, it is a 8 queens problem. So, this is the description about the 8 means problem. So, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Deep Bella Srinivas Rao. Thank you.